वेलकम एवरी वन इन टूडेज क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नंबर सिस्टम दिस पार्ट ऑफ द स्लाइड कॉन्टेंट इज टेकन फ्रॉम कोहा विस बुक सो नंबर सिस्टम टॉक्स अबाउट हाउ डू यू रिप्रेजेंट द नंबर्स इन आवर कॉमन लाइफ यू यूजली यूज द डेसीमल नंबर सिस्टम्स वेयर योर डिजिट्स आर दे आर फ्रॉम जीरो टू नाइन एंड वी कैन जस्ट यूज दैम टू रिप्रेजेंट एनी नंबर बट ऑन द अदर इन कंप्यूटर सिस्टम्स this uh, it's not convenient to use or represent these decimal numbers 0 to 9 in computer we are as we discuss it's basically binary right so we have to represent everything using 0 or 1 so we should know this binary systems and in today's class i'm going to talk about different number systems how this number systems uh, with different base looks like and how to convert a number from one number system to another number system automatically okay so in general whenever you write uh, a number multiple digit number uh, its the value is being calculated based on the base in which this number represent and the number of digit you are using right so this uh, suppose your base is b okay in a number system base b so for decimal number system base is 10 and your numbers are from 0 1 2 to 9 there is a octal system where base is 8 okay octal here the numbers will be to 7 you have a binary where base is equal to 2 where the numbers are 0 and 1 it is up to b minus 1 okay so once you give a number say in decimal system when you write say 1 2 3.45 so how do we calculate this value based on the base so you basically assign a weight to this each position right so this uh, for example if your uh, this is a fraction point the first one is b to the power 0 the next one is b to the power 1 then b to the power 2 b to the power 3 and so on and this side it is b to the power minus 1 b to the power minus 2 and so on so whenever you write the number 1 2 3.45 effectively you are multiplying this value with base to the power 2 this value with base to the power 1 and so on so this 1 2 3 4 5 is this right so we have 1 into 10 square because base is 10 here then this is 2 into 10 to the power 1 then 3 into 10 to the power 0 plus 4 into 10 to the power minus 1 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 if you just sum this up in arithmetic where uh, you calculate everything in a base 10 you will get the value 1 2 3 4 4 5 right so in general i'll represent a number in a base b using this equation right so what is this so as i wrote here it is similar to this so if the number is say in a base b is uh, say a0 a1 till a q minus 1 and there is a f- here it is a minus 1 a minus 2 till a minus p so this is the number you have the value is getting calculated is like this so you start uh, this part integer part of the value with uh, starting from b to the power 0 b to the power 1 2 b to the power q1 you multiply this digit this digit with the corresponding uh, weight and then for the negative part or the fraction part you start from a minus 1 to the power b Minus one plus a minus two into b minus two till a minus p into b minus p, right? So if you sum it off, you'll get the value. But this addition has to be done in the base b, right? So it's not the same thing when you add two number in base eight. It is not the same thing when you uh, add the number in base ten. So those arithmetic is different. But this summation equation is same. But this equation has to be solved. Now base that you are working on, right? So on different uh, representation of number uh, for different base. So the convenient base is ten, where the numbers are zero, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, still nine is fine. And then uh, whenever you have to put the next number, it will be one zero, right? It is means ten into one plus zero. Then eleven means eleven into one plus zero. So it is eleven in base ten arithmetic. So this way, this values are coming. 
on binary whenever you write this number so for representing 15 you need 4 bits so I am representing things in 4 bits. So the base 2 so suppose you take this value right 1110 it means 0 into 2 to the power 0 plus 1 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power 3 which is 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0 because there is 0 here so it is 14. Right. So, I get the value corresponding decimal value 14 because I am doing this addition in base 10. Right. So, this you have to remember. So, this addition I am doing in base 10 that is why I am getting 14. Okay. But this particular equation represent uh, this binary number. Okay. Similarly, you have base 8 where the numbers are from 0 to 7. In this case your value will come till 7 and then after that whenever it is 10 it is means 1 into 8 plus 0 right. So, this is effectively 1 0 in octal but it is effectively the value is 8 right in decimal. Similarly, if you take 1 6 although the value is uh, octal it is 1 6. So, it means 1 into 8 plus 6 which is 14 in decimal in base 10 right. So, this is although this is 16 in base 8 it is uh, 14 in base 10 right. On hexadecimal your values are 0 to 9, 0 1 2 3 uh, to 9 and then we use A, B, C, D, E and F okay, to represent the next numbers. So, this A means in decimal 10, B means in decimal 11, C means in decimal 12 and so on right, F means 15. So, this is how the, the conventional uh, uh, number system that we are mostly familiar with. Uh, now, I will move on to discuss how we can convert a number from one base to another base. Okay. So, uh, once you try to uh, convert a number of n to x where n is base b 1 and uh, x in, in base 2. So, this b 1 can be 8, 16 or say 2 or 10 any, any base right and similarly b 2 can be any of the base. So, uh, there are two scenarios can arise right your base 1 is less than b 2 this is the case 1 and the second case is where b 1 greater than b 2 right. So, you can just uh, if it are in the same base you do not need to convert right. So, uh, so the case uh, let us first discuss the case 1 where your base 1 is actually less than this one example it may be say it is 8 and 10 right you want to convert a number in base 8 to the number in base 10 or say from 2 to 10 right, something like this. So, how can you do this? So, the idea that I have already explained uh, here that whenever you have a uh, number in say base 2 and I want to convert into 8. So, what I can do? I can write the corresponding expression and I evaluate this expression in the my desired base, base 2 right. So, although this expression I have written in base 1 but I will evaluate this expression in base 2 the way I just explained here right. So, this is the representation uh, the meaning of base in this right this is the expression and then I uh, suppose I want to convert into base 10. So, I will just use base 10 arithmetic and I got this is 14. If I want to convert this into base 8 I have to use base 8 arithmetic uh, to uh, solve this equation and I will get the value uh, 16 in that case because 14 is effectively octal is 6, 16. If I use the base 16 arithmetic here to solve this equation, I will get the value corresponding E in hexadecimal. So, since we are not comfortable with the arithmetic of 10 or 16, so we usually uh, keep our discussion between uh, this uh, 10 and 2, right. But whenever you try to uh, solve any equations, arithmetic equation, we usually discuss in decimal 10 so that we understand the exact value, okay. So, this is what it says that. Uh, so, whenever your base 1 is less than base 2, I will represent this equation n. So, n is maybe say the, the way I explained earlier, it may be a number like say the same equation that I have taken here this a 0, a 1, a 2 to some say a k and then there is a fraction part then a minus 1, a minus 2, a minus 3 to say some a minus p right and this is some q. So, once you have this I know this is in base b 1 right and the corresponding equation is that summation form that is a 0 into b 1 0 plus 
a 1 into b 1 1 because this is base 1 right this is in base 1 and then you have a q into uh, b 1 q to the power minus 1 and plus this is a minus 1 into b 1 minus 1 till a minus p into b 1 minus p right this is the equation. So, this equation when I uh, represent all the numbers are in base b 1 right because I am using this in terms of base b 1 and then because I have to convert this into base 2 I will just evaluate this equation in base 2 right. So, I will just convert I mean I will just evaluate this in base 2 then whatever the value I will get that is the x right? this is what is the basic idea of this ok. It say that base 2 arithmetic can be used here. So, what I will do I will converse and take expressing the number b 1 n in base b 1 as a polynomial in power of b 1 exactly is this and then evaluate this using the base 2 arithmetic ok. So, so this is how I can solve it. So, let me take an example then it will be clear suppose your number is this ok that 432 432.2 in base 8. So, this is not 432 in decimal right this is a value in uh, octal ok base 8 and this I want to convert into say base 10 to some x which in base 10. So, what I will do I will just represent this in terms of base 8 and which is basically 2 into minus uh, 8 to the power minus 1 uh, then 2 into 8 to the power 0 this is corresponding to this value then for 3 you will have 3 into 8 to the power 1 and then for 4 it is 4 into 8 to the power 2 for this it is 2 into 8 to the power minus 1 and this value I will uh, calculate in I will do the summation in base 10 ok and then it will turn out to be 282.25 you can just cross check. So, this is converted into 282.25 in base 10 it is much simpler right. So, similarly if you have this is the binary number I will write this in terms of this equation which is this for the this for 1 this is 2 to the power uh, 0 into 1 and then this 0 into 2 to the power 1 then 1 into 10 to the power 2 to the power 2 and then this 1 into 2 to the power 3 right and the RHS was 0 into 2 to the power minus 1 and 1 into 2 to the power minus 2 ok. So, this way I can just uh, write this and then I will evaluate this whole equation in the base of 10 and I will get 13.25. So, that means 1101.01 which is in binary is equivalent to 13.25 in in base 10 ok. So, this transformation is quite straightforward. It is bit complicated when you try to convert a number in base 1 to base 2 and your base 1 is greater than base 2. So, that means you have say number in 10 I want to convert into binary 8 to 2 or say maybe 10 to 8 and so on. So, in this case why the previous method would not work because when you write this expression right this uh, polynomial expression your this number b will come in terms of 10 right, but there is no 10 in base 2 right or if you uh, uh, so or it is uh, there is no 9. Uh, so, if it is base 10 your number uh, number will come even this a will come a, a a values will come in terms of 0 to 9, but there is no 9 8 7 in base 2. So, you cannot actually evaluate this equation in b 2 because b 2 is smaller and there are some number or digits there in this equation which is not practical in uh, base 2 right. So, that is why I need to take a different approach ok. So, what is the approach here? So, you have this number n which is b 1 let us say when I convert this into base 2 the value is like this. So, the value will become it is not the uh, uh, it is basically will become this a 0 uh, a 1 a 2 a 3 to a q minus 1 it is in and dot a minus 1 a minus 2 to a minus p, but this is in base 2. I am just assuming this value if I uh, convert this uh, suppose some process has convert this 2 into base 2 and the number will be this I want to find out what is the value of a 0 a 1 a 2 a 3 to a q 1 similarly a minus 1 a minus 2 to a minus p I just want to know this value it is unknown to me. So, this is kind of unknown I want to find out these values. So, this is I assume so if the digits are like this then the integer part will be like this. So, I have to just multiply with the uh, b 2 arithmetic right because this value is in b 2 base. 
So, I will just multiply with b 2 uh, 0, b 2 1 and so on. This is only I am talking about the integer part, fraction part I will take care later. Okay. So, this will be the polynomial representation of this number in base 2, where my b a 1 this basically a minus p to a q are unknown to me now at this point of time. Okay. So, let us say I have this. But since these values, this a uh, 0 to a q 1 and a minus 1 to a minus b, these values are in base 2. So, they will also occur in base 1, right. So, this is, uh, they are all valid number in, uh, in base 1 arithmetic. Okay. So, now uh, let us see, I just uh, divide this value with b 2, okay. b 2 is uh, the base, my target base, right. So, I am dividing the both side by b 2. Okay. So, if you just divide this by b 2 because this b 2 is getting multiplied. So, for this part uh, b 2 will be reduced by 1, right. So, this will become a 1, this will become just a 2 b 1, this way this will become a q minus 1 into b 2 q minus 2 because it is q minus 1 uh, earlier, right. Plus a 0 because here there is no b 2, so it will become a 0 by b 2, right. So, that means if I divide this my imaginary integer representation of the number in b 2 by b 2, I will get this as a quotient and this is basically the reminder, right. This is my reminder, right. And then this is reminder and that bit whatever the reminder is that is the my first bit in the integer, okay. Because I have assumed that my number in that x is this right this is my x here so x is this so i got a 0 effectively right so what i am doing here so effectively i'll take the number in b1 and if i divide by b2 in b1 arithmetic then what will happen whatever the remainder i'll get that is my the first bit in of the number in in the b2 arithmetic right i am repeating again so if i take the number n in base b1 and if I divide this by b2, I will get uh, some quotient and some reminder. The reminder is nothing but the first digit of the integer in the base 2 domain by this philosophy. Okay. So, this if I just keep applying repeatedly, so after that I will take this q0, I will again divide by b2, then I will get a1 by b2, right. So, that means I will get a1, this is a reminder. So, this will nothing but this bit and this I will keep repeating until uh, I will get a q 1 also u q, q minus 1 right. So, this is the kind of process that I am going to follow and this will always terminate because there is a fixed number of values. Every time I am getting one of the bits, one of the digits in base 2. So, this is what exactly the thing. So, after uh, the first iteration I will get a 0, then I will take instead of n I will take now q 0 right whatever the q quotient I got from my first division and again I will repeat, I uh, will repeat by b 2 and I will represent uh, number in b 1 and this is whatever the reminder I will get that is my a 1. Okay. So, this is how I will just keep doing this and finally, until I will get q minus 1 and this process is finite because n is a finite number. Okay. So, let me explain this with an example. Suppose you have to convert this number into a uh, base 10 to 8. So, the idea is that now I will take 548 and I will divide this by 8 because I will take the base b2 and it will come 648, then I will get 68, then I will give 8, it will be 64, then this is reminder. So, this is my reminder, right. So, the first digit of my the number I am going to construct in base digit is 4, right. So, I will get 4. This is my q0. Next, I will take this 68 and I will divide this by 8, I will get 4 as reminder. So, this is nothing but the next bit, right. This is the 4 bit, okay. Then I will take this 8 and I uh, will try to divide this by 8, I will get a reminder 0, right. So, that means my next bit will be 0. Then I will take this one, 1, this is my next quotient, this is my q1, this is q2. Now, I will divide 1 by 8 and I will get 1 as reminder. So, this will be my reminder and on the my process finish because there is nothing in the quotient. So, this number if it is integer in 10, it is nothing but 1044 in 
base 8 ok. So, there is one more example where I convert this 3 4 5 in base 10 into base 6 uh, where the number will become 1 3 6 6 ok. So, this is for integer part, but there are fraction part. Uh, so, as I mentioned x is basically a 0, a 1, a 2, a, a 3 till a q 1 and then a minus 1, a minus 2 up to a minus p in the fraction part. So, this way uh, I will just take the integer part of the my number in n and I will just do this procedure by dividing every time by b 2, b 2, b 2 and I will end up getting all the bits of uh, the number integer part of the value in base 2 right. So, the now I have to identify the this part of the uh, number the fractional part ok. So, I will just use the dual procedure. So, you, you know that if the number is in b 1 and the fraction part for the fraction part if it is in the x the fraction part has a minus 1 a minus 2 to a minus p. So, it will be a minus 1 into b 2 minus 1 then a minus 2 into b 2 minus 2 and so on right till a minus p into b 2 minus p. So, this is in base 2 right because I am assuming this is uh, these numbers are there in the base 2. So, this is unknown to me I have to again find out these values ok. So, what I am going to do if I just multiply this n the fractional part of the n by b 2 ok the base 2 then what will happen because this is b minus 1 if I multiply with b 2 it will become a minus 1 right. So, this this part will come out and rest of the part also uh, the b will be reduced by 1 right it has earlier b minus 2 it is become b minus 1 it was um, b minus p it is minus p plus 1 now ok. So, uh, what I am getting here? So, if I multiply this so whatever the value I am getting before fraction because th here this is there is nothing b minus 1. So, this is a uh, integer value. So, whatever the value I am getting greater than 1 that is nothing but this bit the first fraction bit that a minus 1 that is I am talking about right. So, if the above product less than 1 then this is 0, but it may happen that if you multiply still you do not get this that means this value is 0 right and if the value is greater than equal to 1 then this is a, a actually the integral part ok. So, this a minus 1 is that value only. So, again I am just keep multiplying right after that again I will just multiply this part with b 2 then I will get a minus 2 then I will again multiply this part again I will get a minus 3 and so on. And this process may not terminate because this number may not have a exact representation in base 2 I will talk about that. So, just take an example suppose I have a fraction number 3125 in base 10 I want to convert into base 8 ok. So, what I am going to do I will multiply this with 8 I will get 2.5. So, 2 is the first number right. So, what I am trying to find out 0.2 right. Then I will take this part and we will multiply with 8 then it will become 4 point something. So, this is 4 and since there is nothing here this process stops right. So, this is uh, nothing but 0 0.24 in base 8 right. So, that means 0 0.3125 in base 10 is nothing but 0 0.24 in base 8 ok. One more example suppose I have uh, 0 0.375 in base 10 I want to convert into base 2. So, again I will take this fraction value we will multiply with the base 2. So, I will do this and my uh, value will come out this and there is nothing in the integer part. So, it means this value is 0. Then I will take this and I'll multiply by 2 I will get 1.5. So, then I will get 1 then I will take 0.5 and I multiply 2 I will get 1.0 then this is become 1 right. So, that means this value this 0.375 in base 10 is nothing but uh, this 0 0.011 in base 2 ok. So, this process starts because this value becomes 0, this value becomes 0 ok. But let me take a complete example now. So, 432.345 which is in base 10 I want to convert into binary that means base 2. So, for this part I will keep divide this by 2 right. So, 432 if I divide by 2 it will become cosine into 116 and then a 0 is 0. Then 216 you divide by 2 you will get 108 and cosine is reminder is 0 then this will become 54 then 0 and so on right. So, that means you are getting the value like this right. So, 0 so this is the first bit 0 then 0 then 0 then 0 then 1 1 0 1 1. So, this is the integer part right this is what I got 
on the fraction part I will start from 0 0.34, 0 0.3, 0 0.354 and we will multiply with 2 I will get 0 0.708. So, that means my first fraction bit is 0. Then I will take this part that means a minus 1 is basically 0. 708 and multiply with 2 I will get 1.46 that means this is my a1 right. So, I will get this a minus 2 right. So, that means I get a minus 2 equal to 1. Then I will take 416 I will multiply with this I will get 0 here. So, a minus 3 is 0 right. So, this way I am continuing and see after my till a 7 bit again I get uh, 0.656 and you can understand that if you just do uh, multiply by this it will never become a full number right full integer. So, this process is infinite. What does this mean? This 0.354 does not have a exact representation in binary. So, you need to take some precision. So, let us say I took 6 bits precision and in the 6 bits precision it is 110 right. So, this is my exact representation in uh, this is not the exact, but the most precise representation up to 6 bit of fraction of this integer number in a binary ok. So, this is uh, so covers the both way right conversing from a uh, bigger base to smaller base and smaller base to bigger base ok. Now, uh, for binary to octal or hexadecimal or maybe octal to binary or hexadecimal to binary we can follow the same process, but there is a much simpler process to convert this this I will explain now right. So, whenever you have a binary number you can just club the number in 3 digit and you write the corresponding decimal number and that will be in the octal number I will have because octal is 3 bit right. So, for every uh, octal number you need basically 3 bits to represent 0 to 7. So, I can just club this 3 bits together and that will be my octal. Similarly, the fraction part also it start from this way and this will start from this way it is not from this way you have to start from the LSB ok. So, similarly you just club together and you will get the corresponding value in, uh, in uh, the decimal value and this is nothing but the corresponding octal number and it is vice versa right. So, whenever you have a octal number like this you can what you can do you can just write corresponding 3 bit and you will get the binary ok. So, it is much simpler. So, this is a both way process either you take a binary you club the bits in 3 and you write the corresponding decimal number or you take the octal number and you represent each digit in 3 bits side by side and then you will get the corresponding binary. For hexadecimal uh, since the number is from 0 to 15, so you need 4 bits and here all 4 bits are getting used similar to the octal where it is 0 to 7 that means there are 8 possible values and 3 bits is necessary right. So, that means all of the, the values of 3 bits uh, possible representation using 3 bits are getting used right. So, similarly for Huxel uh, there are 16 possible values. So, again the same process you take any number in hexadecimal you write the corresponding value in 4 bits again say 6 you become 0 1 1 0, 0 become 0 0 0, 3 become 0 0 1 1 right and d become 1 1 0 1 and that is the corresponding binary. And similarly if this is the binary is given to you, you just club 4 bits starting from the LSB and you write the corresponding value in hexadecimal similarly the fraction part starting from this side you club 4 bit together and write the corresponding hexadecimal value you will get the corresponding hexadecimal number. So, the conversion from binary to octal, octal to binary and binary to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to binary is straightforward, right just clubbing the number using 3 bits or 4 bits will work here ok. Uh, with this I will conclude today's discussion. Thank you.